Oh, hey, what's up, guys? That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. And if you like that, hit subscribe, maybe? I don't know. But this is the third time I've filmed this video. But every time I've done it, I keep feeling more confident about it. So maybe this will be the best result. The first time I tried to film it, I left my air conditioner on. And so there's just this loud humming in the background, which was a thing that happened a lot back in the day, back in the day of my channel, you know, in February. February 2020, if you're watching this in the future when I'm super famous. Um, but so I didn't like it, so I redid it. And then I redid it Monday night and um, didn't do any editing that night. So on Tuesday, I went to go edit and the file is corrupted. So I don't know if that's my SD card being fucked up or me being fucked up or what it is exactly, but it kind of sucks. So um, here we are, third time's the charm. Video's gonna be late. Who cares? Not me, just kidding, I do. But today we're just gonna talk about my opinions and shit. Um, I asked, I thought of some stuff on my own that I wanted to bring up and I asked two people, um, Nikolai, who is the world's biggest fan, and Little Miss Red, who is an amazing human being. So this is just gonna be a mix of all those things and we can go. Um, here, we'll start out with something strong. So I don't get into politics much, right? But Nikolai specifically asked me about Donald Trump, my opinions on Donald Trump. Well, I don't have any. So I don't do the whole politics thing. Like, I don't fucking care. Um, all of your candidates suck. So I don't vote. I'm an anarchist. So there's that. But all your candidates suck. Let's start out with your current president, Donald Trump. Although his ethics aren't the best, his financial shit is pretty good, I guess. But um, he also openly stated that if his daughter wasn't related to him, he would have sex with her. So there's that. And then you got the sleepy gel, right? The dude with very visible dementia. Um, yeah, that's a good one you got going there. Oh, and he likes little kids. If you've never heard the song, I Sniffed a Girl and I Liked It, it's a spoof off Katy Perry. You should Google that sometime later after you're done watching this video. But that's a good one. And then we have Joe Jorgensen. That's everybody's savior, right? Third party candidate. And you're right. She has enough electoral votes, potential. She's on enough ballots to win. Because the chances of her winning from write-ins are slim to none. But she's on the ballot in enough states that she could win. The problem is, she's not going to win all the states. So it doesn't fucking matter. Um, we're not just imagining to change that. There's uh, two generations of people that still would only ever vote Republican or Democrat. So there's that. And then you got Kanye, who, fuck it, he could win. He's on the ballot in Colorado, and he'll probably get a couple million red in votes. I don't know what kind of move this is for him, but he's hitting it hard. Can you hear the fucking crickets? That's my fucking life. Like, that's not, I can't control. That's just the crickets. I kind of want to go shake them up real quick. They might stop. We'll see how long that last. So yeah, that's my thing on politics. I'm gonna do a whole video near election season, like right around. Uh, 10th November, second Tuesday, whatever voting day is. I don't fucking know when voting day is, but run then. I'm gonna do a video on politics. So uh, another one is like, we're going way out in left field here, change subjects. I haven't enough of that. But do any of you guys believe in aliens? Like, I've got them like tattooed all over me. I love the idea of aliens. I don't think that aliens are here. Like, I don't think aliens have been to Earth, but um, 
the chances of there not being life outside of Earth is very slim. Mm -hmm. And then if there is, there's a greater chance that there will be advanced civilizations and stuff, but I don't know if they've like been here, you know? What about ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts. This can roll right into, I don't believe in God. And not like, oh, I think there could be a God like full on atheist. I'm pretty convinced that when you die, you cease to exist. Like it's not black. It's not like nothing. It's like, it's nothing. You cease to exist. Your mind can't process that. So you can never think about it. But um, just think about your mind not being your mind anymore. Like it would, wouldn't exist. It's not like you would be black. You just wouldn't exist. Which is fucking scary, to be honest. Like, the void, the inevitable void. And I tried to kill myself and I know it was coming. Or at least I, th I think I know it is coming. My joint went out. Pretty stoned anyways, so maybe I should hold off for a minute. So yeah, I don't believe in God. Um, I believe in that everything is happening for the first time right now for no fucking reason. Nothing matters. Um, which is why I don't like have a retirement account. I'm just kidding. I actually have a retirement account. I put 5% in and then my company matches 5%. So, I don't know how much that is. I don't know how much is there, but oh. most conspiracy theories are probably based off some truth. But not all conspiracy theories. And not always truth that directly correlates to conspiracy theories. I think a lot of stuff is so off key, like, chemtrails. There's no truth behind that at all. The Illuminati probably exists, but I don't think it's as big as a de deal as people think it is. Um, chemtrails, Illuminati, God, no conspiracy theory. It's a ploy for money, power. But the weird thing about it is, and like, I'm actually backtracking here really far. Hey, future Jerry, edit this back to that. No, maybe I won't even do that. There's a quote from a guy that I like, Hank Green. And in this song that he made forever ago, it's called The Universe is Weird. But a line in that song is, the biggest mystery of all the ones in which we dwell how the universe created a tool with which to know itself. I think that's pretty fucking gnar because we're, you know, basically just stardust in a total accident. And even though the universe didn't know it was making us, it did. And because it made us, it's now knowing itself better because we study the universe. I don't know, that's fucking, that's nuts. All right, let's go back to the scripted stuff. <laughs> but can we talk about people not knowing how to fucking drive? So my biggest gripe with the whole thing is if you're in the left lane, leftmost lane on the highway, and there's someone behind you that's trying to pass you, get the fuck over. But the biggest problem with that is 80% of you, if you were doing the same thing in the lane, didn't want to pull over. If a cop is the one that rolled up behind you, you will gladly get over and let him pass. So you know that it's wrong, but you're just doing it 
because you don't care about anybody else. Get over yourself. I also can't do the people who honk thing. Like, ask any of my friends if I honk the horn, and they'll all tell you fucking no. Because, and I think this is something I picked up from running motorcycles, but in the time that it takes for you to physically go honk your horn, you could have reacted. So why waste the time? Because they're already in motion to do whatever they're going to do. And by honking your horn, you're either going to scare them and make them finish it faster, or they might go back into their place and overcorrect and fuck something else up. So why scare them when you can just react? Either you tap on your brakes or you get over whatever is safest, because now you have an extra second to think and look about it while you're not honking the horn. So basically, I don't know why people honk. You should just use that time to get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, I also can't stand when people get mad at me for doing totally legal things on my motorcycle. If you didn't know, lane splitting is legal in California, which basically means that in stopped or slow traffic, you can ride on the white line, the white dotted line, in between cars, as long as you're doing it safely. Now, if someone's being dumb, I get it, but 80% of us are going what's proper above you, the speed of you, so you're supposed to go, 50, we're allowed to go 15 miles an hour faster than you while we're lane splitting. There's no real law, but this is standard. 15 miles an hour over when you're lane splitting. If they're doing like a hundred fucking miles an hour, yeah, they're being dumb. They're probably gonna kill themselves. But rarely in motorcycle accidents does anybody else get hurt. So just let them keep being dumb. Oh, here's a doozy. Supermarkets. The dumb rules of the road apply to supermarkets. Walmarts, grocery stores, whatever the fuck. Walk on the right-hand side of the aisle, in the big aisles. If you're in a small aisle, stand behind your cart at all times when looking at stuff. Like, don't take up the whole fucking aisle and then get pissy when somebody wants to get by. Piss off. This last one is super ironic, but I hate it when people care about other people's opinions. Like. I have friends that are Democrats, and I have friends that are Republican, and they all both hang out with me because I don't fucking vote, I don't fucking care. But they won't hang out together. Like, just because you have different opinions, y'all can just fuck off. You're still normal human beings, you know what I fucking mean? Like, just be nice and hold a reasonable conversation about anything that is in politics, and you'll be fine. And then even if you aren't fine and you have to talk about politics, why can't you even why can't you just respect the fact that you each have a, your own opinions? And it's the same thing with gay marriage. I don't know why anybody cares because it's none of your fucking business. And if you're religious about it, they probably are religious too, by the way. And if we want to get real dumb about it, the Latin for, um, if a man were to sleep with another man, you know, that dumb line in the Bible, the Latin f word for that actually translates to boy. So the, when they translated it to English, they protected the pedophilia thing. If a man were to sleep with a boy. Yeah, so there's that. There's a religious argument blown out of fucking water. And then uh, abortion's the same fucking way. Like, I don't care if you don't want to have abortions, don't fucking have one. Stop letting other people not have them. Unless you're going to take care of their fucking kids, which I know none of you are going to goddamn adopt any. So, any of you that are fighting the argument won't adopt any. I'm sure there's a bunch of you on here that would. I don't know what my audience political views are. Leave them in the comments. I don't care. I don't know. People are dumb. I'm dumb. No. Maybe I'm just smarter than everybody else. 
Anyways, I'm scared of commitment and uh, don't know what merch company to use. So um, I'll actually care about those comments if you leave them in the comments. Uh, and crowdsource the fuck out of the shit. I have a really new, I have a really cool new t-shirt design that I want to throw on and uh, I'm super ready to do it. So I just need to find a new company. Give me a like, give me a follow. And until next time. <laughs>